eagles. In some belief systems, they're considered messengers from the gods. For at least today, that's true, because eagle has a powerful message for you about purposeful living and what it's like to see through their eyes. Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, voice of the Akashic Records. My encounter with Eagle left me awestruck. It was magnificent and profound all at the same time. A few days prior, I'd come across a large bald eagle on the road shoulder, feasting on roadkill. Startled by the approaching car, he spread his wings and he shot up into this massive pine tree. It's rare that I see an eagle around here. Plenty of hawks and crows, but few eagles. This was special, and it felt like an angelic message. Eagles symbolize freedom, strength, and clairvoyance. They're known as guardians of the sky, soaring high above, keeping a watchful eye on the world. In some cultures, they're called messengers of the gods. Messenger indeed. The next time I meditated, an eagle showed up. But this wasn't any random visitation or meditation. It was an extraordinary experience where I found my consciousness inside the eagle, feeling what he felt and saw. We had merged into one being, temporarily at least. Now I am the eagle. I raise my wings and flap, and as if a switch was flipped on, my body rises swiftly and smoothly into the air. When my powerful wings draw down against the pressure of air currents, I'm propelled ever higher. Gleefully, I observe and admire how effortless it is to raise this massive body off the ground. Now, while it feels effortless to me, I'm reminded by the consciousness of Eagle that these wings are deliberately powerful to carry me, him, to great heights. And it's that power that lifts me. But it's funny how being the eagle, I feel taking that for granted because it's just who I am. A creature of the sky, I'm born to soar majestically over the land to see what I might see. Then, abruptly, I felt this energetic shift as my consciousness withdrew from the eagles. I am me, and the eagle is he once again, separate and distinct. And it's then that the eagle telepathically shared his message. Eagle speaks. When I'm soaring across the sky, nothing between me and the divine. I'm on top of the world, in a state of peace and zen. What could be better than this? Not even a fresh meal compares. Soaring is my ultimate bliss. Of course, I love my mate, our offspring, and the time we spend together but that's a physical experience. What I'm talking about is a soul experience, the ultimate connection of myself to all that is. Nothing compares to that level of bliss. My purpose, you ask? That's simple. It's to be the most perfect version of myself that I can achieve. Like singing along to notes on a piano where the game is, how high can you go? In my most blissful moments of soaring across the sky, I challenge myself to push the limits, see how high I can fly. The funny thing, it's then I notice my limitations. The air gets thinner and colder. What was effortless now requires focus and exertion. And there being no reason to expose myself to all of that struggle, I drift back down to my realm of comfort. Does that mean I failed? Absolutely not. I was designed to function efficiently, but only to reasonable heights. Pushing myself past that point is a waste of time. An ego trip. Ooh, baby, mic drop there. Ego philosophy. I don't feel the need to prove myself superior. Therefore, I'm at peace living within my natural limitations. After all, no being is designed to do everything. It's important to know who you are and what you're about. In other words, your purpose. My life is deeply satisfying, and I'm grateful for each day that I'm blessed to breathe in fresh air and be. 
one day I know it will end, as it does for all living beings. In the meantime, the wisest thing to do is savor my glorious life. Be present and pay attention. Learn the lessons presented for enlightenment. Make my days count, for when they are done, they are done. An Enlightened Soul in my many lives, there have been times when I've fallen short of being my best. Yes, I've been regretful about missed opportunities. Until that is, I reached a level of enlightenment that transcends regret. Total waste of time, that. Now I allow myself to be all that I can as often as I can. That is enough. New lessons are incorporated which lead me to still higher levels of understanding and enlightenment. Oh, the peace that comes from relaxing into this way of being. From my vantage point, high in the skies, I notice many two-leggeds like you scurrying to and fro, sometimes engaged in frivolous or trivial activities. Now, I'm not against playing. In fact, I highly recommend it. But there's all too much confusion and mindlessly milling about down there. An obvious lack of purpose. Pick a path and take it for goodness sake. Slow down and feel the love. <sighs> it's not my intent to lecture. Merely to impart a little wisdom from on high. You would do yourself a world of good to live in a more mindful state. Experiencing life rather than rushing through to the next tomorrow. In the doing, you miss out on the lusciousness of today. Slow down. Take a beat. Draw a deep breath. Notice and appreciate your surroundings. Feel the love flowing to you from the enlightened beings who surround you. Yes, there are many. Allow yourself to receive their love, causing you to shift towards well-being. It's also simple, really, when you take the time to slow down and feel the love. Find your rhythm and flow. Likewise, you might tune in enough to notice your angel team who accompany you everywhere. Those often unnoticed precious beings who want nothing more than to facilitate your enlightenment as they assist you with worldly tasks and goals. They live, love, laugh, and celebrate right along with you can't get rid of them if you tried, and why would you want to? Let them help you find the rhythm of life in the flow so that you might stop all the effort. That's a colossal waste of time and actually slows you down. Well now, it's time for me to return to my own pursuits, savoring every day as if it were my last. I hope you'll heed my words and consider whether you're living the best version of yourself. If not, when will you start? Toodaloo! He gives a one-wing salute, then glides away on an updraft, off to savor this glorious day and the next and next. Reflecting on the message. Eagle's enlightened understanding of purposeful living is a simple roadmap for awakening souls with a desire to expand their consciousness. One statement in particular stands out for me. No being is designed to do everything. What a liberating thought. Each of us came to the planet with this ambitious plan. How much we accomplish is based upon choices. But this lifetime is more consequential than previous incarnations. Humanity is in the midst of a rare evolutionary upgrade. Vibrational frequencies are expanding further and faster than in previous lifetimes. We know this because that data is accessible through the Akashic Records. On Earth, we measure our physical temperature. In the Akashic Records, vibrational frequency energy is an important measurement. Many souls are presently surging up the vibrational scale as compared to previous lifetimes, and frequencies will continue rising until this evolutionary expansion levels out. The wild ride of rapid ascension isn't over yet. This is a spiritual awakening intended to move us out of divisiveness into oneness with ourselves, ego, higher self, and soul, one another, and creator. 
That deep connection our souls have longed for is almost within reach. Well, friends, I hope you found Eagle's message as inspirational and impactful as I. If you enjoy messages from the creatures of the world, you'll probably love this playlist. Thank you for your support. It means the world to me. Until next time, this is Deborah Lupian, Voice of the Akashic Records. Bye.